Okay, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date is February 24th of 2019. And this is a comment that was just left on my uh, video that I made, I think earlier today, uh, the video trying out NVIDIA GeForce Shadow Play for live streaming. And here is a comment that, mess, mess, that has been left. Have you tried Streamlabs OBS instead of OBS? And uh, he says, I made a switch to Streamlabs OBS and won't be going back. So I just downloaded it. And logged in using my YouTube password. I haven't started a um, hmm. I think I'm going to start out fresh. Okay, I haven't started a camera because I want to go to the settings here and if I have a camera going it, it may not you know recognize it because I'm using Manicam right now. I'm not using uh, Streamlabs OBS. This is a beta version. I think they must have made this to uh, be simple. Let's see. Thanks. Let's see. Essentials. Chat. Donation. Dedicated. Add a widget. Hmm. Select the Streamlab widget you would like to add, add, activate for your stream. Thanks, viewers, with notification pops up. Uh, most recent events in your stream. A jar that catches bits, tips, and more. Chat box, ch channels chats in from your stream. Uh, donation ticker shows off your most recent donations to viewers gives your viewers a donation target to help you gives your viewers a subscriber target to help you reach your viewer count stream gives you views of rolls credits uh, add one widget to see rather do it manually set up later okay so I haven't picked any of those so this looks good this looks very good. It looks like it's uh, something for Jim Howard with his small mind. Even has a go live button. But first, okay, um, I am going to stop the catching with Manicam and try to set this up and it is 9.53 p.m. perhaps I will be on YouTube live streaming here in a little bit wish me luck okay we're testing one two three four five five four three two one Okay, now here I am running uh, Streamlabs OBS and uh, it's I haven't looked at their site like their uh, blog or anything like that but apparently what this is is a new beginning for them. I'm sure maybe they'll probably keep the other one. But this is, I think, going to be something some, <laughs> something easier <clears throat> for people because everybody uh, talks about how great OBS is, <clears throat> but tons of people say, well, I just can't get it to, you know, it's just too difficult. So, and they're doing, it looks like they're doing great. I mean, I just... Uh, messed with it here for a few minutes
I haven't tried the uh, live streaming yet. This is just a recording. So, uh, well, I guess I should show it to you, shouldn't I? The, uh, let's see. Let me drag this over. I need, to, I could set up, uh, let me drag this over here. So this is the, uh, this is the control panel. Uh, let's see. Well, a little difficult to see. I, maybe I could disable. Hate to disable anything right now. At this scene. Huh. Okay, you're getting this. Um, let's see. Sources. View count. We don't need that. Input capture screen. That's audio. Here's the display. Huh. Yeah, I think this looks kind of... Uh, I don't want to mess with... I'm going to move this back to my other monitor. Okay. Right now, I'm, I uh, don't want to make a mistake. Of course, I could start over, but I... But uh, I'll show it to you later on. By the way, uh, this is the Wayback Machine or the uh, Internet Archive Wayback. I guess this would be uh, web.archive.org. I've, I've looked at it in the past. I even have, when they first started, whatever, I have an account set up. But, uh, so I put in BBS the documentary to search. And of course I found the, uh, the site. What I, what I wish, what I want, is uh, the two and a half hour vi uh, video that uh, was made only a few, two minutes or three minutes or something in the three DVD set and especially well, in the first DVD about bulletin board systems. Uh, only Two minutes or less of my of what I said in the two and a half hours and uh, I'm hoping one day that he's going to Jason is going to release the two and a half hours think of what that would be like on my uh, YouTube site uh, me talking for two and a half hours about computer bulletin board systems uh, well, anyway, this is when uh, Jason came, and this is me talking for the two and a half hours. We did stop for a break. I ordered in pizza for us. Uh, he did it on his own. He brought his own big camp. Well, I think you can see it here. Where Here it is. That's the camera that he brought. Uh, he didn't want me or anybody else to carry that in, you know, carry that in. He didn't want to, that's what he was traveling around with and he did not want to uh, have somebody drop it or break it or something. He carried it in himself. I don't blame him. But uh, these are, I guess, all of the probably still pictures that he took. So there you see my computer bulletin board system running. And you see the corner of his camera here. And you see my uh, three webcams, I think it are, that are going. But my bulletin board system was running. So people could log in and people could see 
the uh, two and a half hours because then I was streaming live all the time I think back then before YouTube uh, and there I am I look a lot younger don't I I thought I was I thought I was old then well I thought I was old since all my life uh, when I got married at age 26, I thought, eh, might as well get married. My life is over. I'm so old at age 26. Uh, it's just, I don't know, maybe that's something fr from, um, not sure why. Maybe a lot of people feel that way and don't realize how young you really are maybe I maybe that had something to do with having you know two parents that were alcoholic and I you know I've heard talk that you know uh, the children of alcoholics are Uh, what not? I don't want to say mature earlier, but have to act more, you know, responsible. You have to be the one that uh, stands between them, or when they fall asleep, pour their whiskey, expensive whiskey, down the drain, and then when they wake up, where's my alcohol? And you say, well, you drink it all, you know. And of course they just buy more, but stuff like that. Maybe that makes you think you're older or something, I don't know. Here you can see Jason sitting back here. There's a reflection off the patio doors. I was living with uh, Hillary and Hillary's place in Carrollton. And uh, Jimmy and I had just come from Miami, Florida, where we lived for a few, or I think about a year. And so we came, both of us, to stay with Hillary. So I took the uh, family room downstairs, and Jimmy took a bedroom, and Hillary had her bedroom, and... Russell, where was his bedroom? Can't remember. And then Darlene was upstairs. The nice house in Carrollton, Texas. So, um, so this looks like it's going to work. <clears throat> I could have made, in fact, I did in the past make the other OBS work. But this is, they're on the right track and perfect for me. Uh, something easier to set up. You know, they need it. I'm sure they're thinking, okay, let's uh, keep this simple. Keep it simple, stupid. And uh, uh, So I'm going to continue to play with this software and uh, while wow, a man wrongfully in prison for 39 years gets 21 million dollars. I've seen a couple of those, I'm sure you have too, on the news where some uh, guy was in prison for oh, a whole bunch of time. You know, I mean, years, years, years. And he was innocent, of course. And he gets out. I saw one case recently uh, where um, the guy got nothing. They got a dollar or something. But I saw another case. Uh, I think that was a black man. I forget what state it was. George, Alabama, something like that. And... You know, the district attorney, the everybody just, you know, 
he did not get justice at all, didn't get a fair trial, and he did not commit the crime. He finally was proven innocent and got out. I think somebody, in addition to other evidence, the real person who did it confessed. And uh, for some reason he just got a dollar. And then there was uh, a case I remember, can't remember the, you know, all the details, but uh, the person did get, you know, I don't know how much, not a lot for spending, I don't know, 15 years in prison or something, and or however long it was, maybe it was 25, I don't know, but uh, he died almost immediately. So, okay, anyway, I'm going to stop this and continue to work on it, and then I'm going to work on going live. Uh, and if I go live, I may, uh, I may be streaming a lot live and I'll even think about, you know, being almost live all the time or something. No, oh, that's too much strain because I gotta, gotta keep my pants on and what have you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll put a link below to this uh, Streamlabs OBS version 0 0.11.15 so that shows you uh, you know, it's not even version 1 so it should get even better and uh, I'll see how much I can learn about it here. And I may play a little bit later here in a few minutes with going live to see what happens. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Okay, well, here we are. I made it down to the first second I didn't think I could get down to. Uh, 